हेलो एवरीवन सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द सेकंड मॉडल सिंस ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद दिस मॉडल सो लेट मी ब्रिंग इट वंस अगेन सो व्हाट ऑल द थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस मॉडल इज द एड्रेसिंग नोड्स डेटा ट्रांसफर इंस्ट्रक्शन अर्थमेटिक इंस्ट्रक्शन लॉजिकल इंस्ट्रक्शन ब्रांच इंस्ट्रक्शंस बिट मैनिपुलेशन इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड सम ऑफ द प्रोग्राम्स व्हिच आर बेस्ड अपॉन द कांसेप्ट्स वी विल बी स्टडी so the first thing is the addressing modes as we know there are five addressing modes uh, namely immediate addressing mode register addressing mode direct addressing mode register and direct addressing mode and index addressing mode so we are going to discuss these addressing modes one by one so let me take the first one the immediate addressing mode so as it is be as you can see the immediate addressing modes where the data is directly present within the instruction so as it is being given source operand is a constant and the data must be uh, appended by uh, this uh, symbol hash symbol or hash sign you can say so here in this case so you can see the different examples been uh, given mu uh, a comma hash double f h so mu r4 comma 0 ah mu b comma 10h mu dpt comma hash 1 2 3 4 h mu p1 comma hash 55 h so here in this case of uh, immediate addressing mode so when you know the data is directly available within the instruction that kind of the instructions are considered within the immediate addressing mode so as it is being given so whatever the instruction which will be having the hash symbol uh, within the in, uh, within uh, before the data so that will be considered under this immediate addressing mode okay so as you can see as we know like uh, mu a comma uh, hash ffh in the sense it is a 8 bit data that we are moving into accumulator so this is a r4 register 4 we are using where we are moving the 0h similarly we have the b register then uh, dpt r registers as we know like dpt r register is meant for the 16 bit data handling so for the 16 bit data we are moving to the dpt r so like uh, next is mu p1 comma 55h so this is related to the port initialization so whenever you want to have some port initialization in case of your microcontroller you need to send the data like this so as we already uh, learned in the first module that uh, there are four different ports and you can configure these four ports in uh, any of the way like p1 p2 p3 p4 we have and this p uh, all the ports can be configured based upon your application can either as input or a output okay so next addressing mode is the register addressing mode so in case of the register addressing mode so here in this case both uh, the registers uh, both the source and the destination are can be a register or either uh, you can have a destination or a source or only as in a register so as it is been given this addressing mode uses the register to hold the source and the destination contents so here you can see like uh, examples being given like mu a comma r0 mu r2 comma a add a comma r5 so here so it is not only related to the mu instruction so if you are having like add instruction also where you are having the both source and the destination uh, the locations are the registers then you can have as the register addressing mode okay so this that can be considered the register addressing mode so like next is mu r6 comma a then mu dpt r comma hash 0 1 2 3 h so as already already told dpt r is meant for the 16 bit then um, so these two registers we know like dph and dpl so dph is a data pointer higher byte and dpl is the data pointer lower byte okay so in this case uh, one thing here it is been given like mu r4 comma r7 so this is given as an invalid so why it is invalid in the sense so we cannot transfer a register to register so there has to be a uh, uh, there has to be a register uh, which is an accumulator so either at the source side or at the destination side so either at the source side or at the destination side you have to have a accumulator so then only it is going to be valid so this kind of for instructions like r4 mu r4 comma r7 or r5 comma r6 mu r3 comma r2 are invalid because we cannot have both sources source and the destinations as a uh, registers we have to have either a uh, source as an accumulator uh, like uh, source as Uh, either accumulator or destination as accumulator so you have to have uh, either of one of them has to be a 
uh, some other register like accumulator or B register. So next addressing mode we are discussing is direct addressing mode. So in case of the direct addressing mode, what will happen is in case of this uh, direct addressing mode, we are going to have uh, the address directly available within the instruction. So that address will be holding the data. So as it has been given, you can see the address of the data is available directly as in a part of the instruction. So this thing, whatever you can see, the 40H, it is an address. It is not the data. So there is a difference between address and the data. So whenever you are having hash defined here, so it is not going to be the address. So here, if it is simply defined as 40H, then it is going to be address. So that is the difference. So in case of the immediate addressing mode, if you are just seeing, so here you can see the hash FFH. So this hash represents what it is the data. Whereas if you are not uh, assigning anything before the values, so you can see like this, this one 40H simply it is been given. So this is what this is the address. Move 56H comma A, move RC1 comma 01H, then um, this thing push 0E0H, then pop 03H. So here in this case, uh, in case of the push and pop instruction, so already we have discussed regarding the push and pop instruction. So let me once again uh, take you to uh, the same uh, instructions that is push and pop instruction so that uh, you can recall what all the happen, what all the things happened earlier. So let me take that example where we discussed the regarding the push and the pop instruction. So in case of the push and pop instruction, as we already know, uh, we need to use the stack pointer register. So let me take one example. It will be clear. Here in this case, move R2, 30H and push 2. So as you can see, move R2, 30H and push 2 is been given. So this 2 is nothing but the address. It is not the data. So this 2 resembles what? This 2 resembles the R2. Okay, so this in case of the push and pop instruction, we are not using uh, the values, we are using the address in this location. Push to in the sense, we are going to push the contents of the R2 location to the stack pointer. Okay, so just take the this example, move R2, 30H, push to. So here in this case, what it is happening is, R2 is having the 30H and we are using the instruction push to. So the, uh, 2 is what? 2 is the address. So you may be uh, not getting this uh, if, uh, concept how actually it has come but uh, let me once again remind you the concepts what we already we have. So for each of the uh, registers it may be A, B, DPH, DPL we have the addresses. Okay. So these are the different addresses you would see. Accumulator for accumulator is 0EH, 0E0. For B register it is a 0 F0. So what are these? These are the actual uh, addresses of the different registers. So similarly, as we know like uh, different registers, uh, like we have four register bank, bank 0, bank 1, bank 2, bank 3, bank 4 and uh, in each of the bank, so you can see here. So each of the bank will be having the eight registers. So R0 to R7 and each of the register will bang its own address so if I want to access this R0 register I need to have the address at 00 then only it is going to access R0 so in case of uh, this one in case of the push instruction we cannot use this R0 so we what we need to use is we need to have this 00 address of the R0 similarly if you want to access this R5 register you need to send the address at 05H okay so you cannot send R5, you have to send 05H. So what we are sending here, we are you are sending uh, push 05H. So in this case, what will happen? Whatever the content it is there on R5 register, that will be uh, pushed to the stack member. Okay, so this is how the push and pop registers, they are going to work. Right, so in case of this one, as we have taken the example, so previously, okay, so in this uh, example, move R2, 30H, push 2. In the sense, what we are doing? We are sending the uh, R2's content, which is the 30H, we are sending it to the stack memory. Okay, so how actually it is uh, done? So, pictorically, it is represented like so. 
already we know like always the stack pointer by default it is representing or it is pointing to the 0 7 edge whenever you are uh, pushing the content it will be incremented by 1 then you are going to dump the data then again it is going to increment it so similarly after the execution of this instruction on 0 8 edge you are going to have the 30 edge loaded okay so similarly if you are doing for this um, same instruction pop 2 okay so what would happen is so whatever it is there on uh, the stack pointer location that will be loaded into auto register okay but in case of the pop how it will work you are going to decrement then you are going uh, sorry you are going to uh, get the content then you are going to decrement okay so here in this case uh, push instruction what will happen first increment then push the content but in case of the pop it is first get the content or the pop the content then decrement by one okay so this is how push and pop they are going to work okay so we will again will be back to our uh, previous example so push 0 e 0 h in the sense as i shown you previously this 0 e 0 uh, h is what it's an address of the accumulator so whatever the content of the accumulator is there that we are pushing to the stack memory similarly what is this pop 0 3 h so the pop 3 0 3 h in the sense you are going to get the content which is there on the stack memory to this 0 3 h so whatever it is there on the stack memory that will be dumped to your r3 register so 0 3 h in the sense what it is r3 register okay so this is how it's going to work okay next move a comma r4 is same as move a comma 4 so here they have given uh, some uh, example where you uh, can see like instead of using this r4 symbol they are using the address okay so in examination if they would ask like move a comma 4 uh, like it is correct instruction because it is not like don't put here hash symbol and don't say that it is uh, it's not correct and uh, we should have add a hash symbol here it's actually a correct instruction what it is is here the 4 is address which represents r4 and that r4 content we are moving to the accumulator similarly it is r7 register and that content we are moving to the accumulator so this is how uh, we will be working with this uh, addressing mode using the direct address okay so after this uh, direct addressing mode next is register indirect addressing mode so here in this case uh, register indirect register indirect addressing mode what will happen is you are going to have registers to be used as uh, uh, pointers where it is going to point to the location where the data is residing so as it is, as it is given like you can see register is used to hold the address of the data using a, a add symbol okay so add symbol is used to hold uh, is used to mention or uh, you are going to represent this r0 so we know like move a comma r0 in the sense it is a simple uh, move instruction where you are going to move the content of r0 to accumulator but here in this case is a add so obviously this is going to be a pointer and uh, it is going to be pointing to some location and that data where it is pointing from that location that will be loaded to accumulator similarly move at r1 comma b in the sense you are going to move the content of uh, b register to the uh, r1 uh, sorry uh, to the uh, pointer where it is pointing so r1 is having some address so that address is having some location that location will be loaded with the content of b register so similarly here accumulator content is loaded with the uh, the location where r1 is pointing now okay so similarly this one move 20 h comma at r1 in the sense what we are having this 20h 20 20h 20 is, 20 is what it is an address okay so uh, the data where it is pointing the r1 is pointing from that location we are going to uh, get the data and we are going to load it to the location which is a 20h okay so already we are uh, aware of we are aware of the different things like uh, how the different uh, memories uh, we will be using okay so uh, let me once again uh, just uh, recall the thing okay so this is uh, sfr right special function registers and each special function register is having uh, its own uh, you can say it is meant for the different task okay a register is meant for the accumulator it is uh, like uh, 
for different arithmetic operations uh, than uh, be registers. Similarly, they will be having the different uh, what you can say is addresses, right? So except this, uh, uh, we will be having the uh, memories. So as we know, so this is the memory format that is the uh, internal RAM format. So here we have the four register bank, bank zero, bank one, bank two, bank three, and uh, this is going to be start from zero zero to one F. Okay, so this is the address, and from two zero to two F, we will be having the bit addressable that is each bit will be each bit can be accessed similarly we are uh, available with the 302 7f so this is a general purpose area where we can uh, have your intermediate data okay. so next addressing mode is index addressing mode so what is this index addressing mode is this index addressing is uh, index addressing mode is meant for the accessing the lookup table so what do you mean by that lookup table in the sense so let me take one example so here you can see 0 0 1 2 1 3 1 4 and 1 5 so these are the different addresses for locations we will be having and uh, on each of the locations uh, there are different datas four different datas we have so suppose you are uh, uh, at the location 0 0 1 2 edge and uh, after this 33 uh, data 33 as data you want to directly access this 87 so what you need to do is you directly have to jump from this to this so uh, instead of incrementing each time so if you just can add 1 2 3 that is uh, this 0 0 1 2 plus these three location plus 3 will be added so it will be directly taken to 0 0 1 5 H location so that is how it is going to work so 0 0 1 2 it is there in dpt so 03 is what it is called as an offset so this is called as an offset value offset value is what so this is the displacement value also it is called as okay from where to where you are you want to jump you want to jump from 0012 h to 0015 h so what is the displacement or what is the um, uh, what you can say is uh, distance between these two address location is 3 so that you are going to add uh, hold here in the accumulator and that will be added so accumulator content dptr content will be to added together and that address will be generated so within that address we will be having certain value uh, within that address we will be having that particular value and that will be loaded into accumulator so this is how it's going to work okay so suppose if you are having one more uh, uh, address suppose we will be having 0016h that's next location and here we have 89 so this is the one more value we want to have so suppose you are again you are there in 0012 h location then if you want to directly access the 0016 h location then you need to add 4 here so it is going to give you from here to here direct jump it is going to be in after this value you will be access this value okay so sometimes you want to access the random values so that time it will be helpful right so uh, this uh, instruction uh, this kind of the addressing mode index, uh, index addressing mode it is mainly uh, used when you are using the accessing or uh, when you are accessing the external ROMs okay so uh, that is why it is being given as move C A comma at A plus DPTR move C A comma at A plus PC so PC in the sense here it is a uh, PC stands for is a program counter so program counter is having certain address so that address will be lower, added with the uh, displacement or the offset value then uh, this added together it is going to generate one address that value will be uh, copied to the accumulator so this is how uh, we are going to uh, uh, use this index addressing mode so next further part will be continued